watching Channel 2 News. Coverage you can count on. This is Channel 2 News at 630. Right now, Reno High graduate Kayla Nebaker hoped to be working towards her master's degree in public health at UCLA, but instead she's focused on her own health. The 23-year-old is battling an inoperable brain tumor, and it's her second bout with cancer. So when I asked her if she ever wonders, why me? She said, well, why not me? And is spending all her time helping others. That is why Kayla Nebaker is this week's Someone to Know. As the flame flickers, Kayla Nebaker burns with a fiery determination to live when many would give up. I'm very lucky because, you know, I have a really great life. Full of laughter, <laughs> friendship, and a new fiance. It's amazing. I, I feel very fortunate and very lucky. To have, uh, to have met her, and it's quite an honor to be your fiance. And... But what their contagious smiles hide is Kayla's struggle to survive. The tumor in my brain, it's a primary brain tumor, meaning it um, originated there. Just four years after being diagnosed with colorectal cancer, Kayla now battles glioblastoma multiform, or GBM, a stage four brain tumor. And doctors say it's too dangerous to operate. Even though this is a terrible situation, um, I'm not alone. He wants yeah, cheese. He do it. Not me. <laughs> Proof tonight as Kayla's friends grill up another serving of support after her 19th round of radiation. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten pretty fatigued. But her tireless fight isn't just for herself. Although she owes more than $100,000 in medical bills and is enduring countless side effects, her mission is to educate people since 17,000 Americans will be diagnosed with brain tumors this year. Kayla says we all need to be aware of how quickly life can change, appearances and all. Just a few days after the barbecue, Kayla lost her hair and says it's hard to write with her left hand. But every day, she's back at Renown Regional Medical Center to fight some more. It's a tiresome treatment, but one that reflects what she's already overcome. The minute I, you know, start feeling sorry for myself is the minute that I, I give up. Kayla has one week of radiation left, and I'll tell you, she's the most positive person I've ever met. Once she finishes chemotherapy, then doctors may reconsider performing surgery. Thursday, October 26, Kayla's friends are hosting a benefit concert to help pay for all her medical expenses. It's at the University of Nevada's Manzanita Bowl. For more information, just go to our website. And also remember, you can email...